be back anyway. Bad happened. I promise I don't talk to myself. Sometime. Well, I had an absolute blast. Those, those bluegills, oh my God, dude, they were like this. You guys see it in the video. All my life I lived up here, I've never went bluegill fishing. I don't understand it either, but wax worms, Aberdeen size six, Aberdeen uh, hook size six, and a little drop shot weight, that did it. That concludes the story for today. Man, I can't wait to come back up here for uh, some salmon and steelhead. Maybe, yeah, walleyes too. I should have went for some walleyes, but I've never, never caught so many big bluegills. If you guys stuck with me th uh, this far, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys for the love and support. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to. But remember, oddball video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, so I'm gonna tip this with some wax worms. Hopefully we get some. I brought the big cat rod out. I'm gonna put a cut bluegill in there and see what we can get. If I can catch any bluegills. So what I did is made a drop shot, uh, drop shot rig for bluegills. Probably gotta put one more on there, but let's see. Catching any bluegills? Oh, I didn't. I got down there and did. I'm sure if I had a or something, I'd get it. Are you using artificial? Yeah. I use that on some time. I have to. I can go out of my way. Same here. You ain't gotta worry about keeping them alive, you know what I mean? <laughs> there we go, we got one right here. <coughs> Feels pretty good. Get a couple more, and we'll set up the catfish rod. Don't worry, man, I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> I promise I don't talk to myself. Sometime. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got one right there. Let's see how many more we can get. Get a couple more, then I'll put the catfish right out. There we go. Yep. This one's all right. Healthy little guy. Healthy little guy. Get one more, then we'll put on a cat rod. Oh, 
still got them. Okay, it's a good one too. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Real healthy one. Barely fit my hand around them. Man, these guys are healthy in here. Dang it. You know, I'm just down here visiting my mom and my family, but I lived up here all my life. I never knew they had them that big in here. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> No. You play them? Uh, when they're that size, the other one, yeah. Other than that, I uh, do them whole. Yeah. Scale them, cut them. That's a good size one. Let's see what he got. Dang, that's a nice smallie too. What you using? Just night crawl? Uh, yep, so I used a soft shell, but yeah. it is pretty decent. That's a nice one. It is decent. Whoo! On a regular J hook? Yeah. Nice yeah. And you're just using night, I mean, uh, crawlers? Yep, that's it, the straight uh, crawlers. Yep. You had to change the hook because apparently the other one was too little, so I just put a five or a six on it. Oh, yeah. How you hooking them? Just, just looking through the tail. You're gonna be on YouTube, bro. That's fine, brother. That's <laughs> fine, man. Appreciate it. I oh, appreciate you, man. <laughs> what channel is it, man? It's probably if I gotta get your channel. Midwest Scarfish, S K A R F I S H. Midwest Scarfish? Yep. You're gonna see it. My name's Thomas, man. You're gonna, I'll, I'm just, I'm, I'm just I appreciate it. Yeah, was, oh, this one's better. This one's a lot better. A lot better. It's fighting really good. Oh, he's going to go into your line. No. Yep, he went into your line. Yeah, this one's a good one, too. Oh, now that I'll flay. <laughs> yeah. Big boys. Look at that. Whew. Got him. This one feels pretty good. Good eater. Oh yeah. 
There we go. A little fatty. Whatever hit that cat rod, it's gonna be a big cat. There's a big bait on there. Yeah. Yeah. More natural be good. I see them guys using leaders and like, what the what are you fishing for? Musky or you don't need a leader on there? Yeah. <laughs> I've been fishing this river all my life. There you go. Oh, this one feels better. He's peeling dry. Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. He's a fatty. Look how fat he is. Jeez. I like literally skin hooked him. Oh yeah, good eating too. I cooked up on my boy's birthday last Thursday. Mm-hmm. Cooked up like 60 fillets, all bluegill. I go in the house and they're all gone. Like, <laughs> oh, I bet. I wanted to eat this, so Friday I'm like, man, I want to eat this. So I came down here and caught five of them. Like, I'm closing them. Yeah. You know, ten fillets. Oh yeah. And they're they're like that big one, that biggest one. Yeah, know. that's what I'm. And, and I had two red ears that were just huge. I love those red ears. I mean, I love them all, panfish. That's what I was explaining in the video. The little ones are tap, 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 tap. But the big ones is yeah. just one gulp. There we go. This feels like a better one right here. It's pulling. Oh yeah, there's a way better one right here.